Hooey. Fingers crossed. As always. Big old finger crossy territory here. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, what a nice low timber I've got going. Yes. I should be narrating children's books or perhaps long ago in a forest deep dark away. I don't know. Let's check. Yeah, volume's coming through on the stream over there. So, all right. It is back to nail biting territory uh, for Tex Murphy Overseer. Again, no fancy intro. However, a chair that won't fucking move when I tell it to. Yeah. Good. There you go. Um, nail biting territory exactly because as I expounded upon uh, at great length uh, last stream last Sunday. Ow, my nose has a terrible habit of itching when it's not supposed to. Also, this game is not supposed to run, and and it does. So I'm just uh, crossing my fingers and toes and other appendages flapping about on my body that uh, this game doesn't uh, utterly spectacularly crash as we're playing it. If so, I apologize. Let's get straight on in and uh, see if we can see something in Karolinski's warehouse. Now, uh, let's just see in the chat. We've got exactly one viewer and it's Des Moines KS Theory. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Is yes. I should be playing this for reasons. And, uh, oh yeah, we we're looking for the uh, uh, missing pass card piece. Uh, some jokes have been made at my expense, which I wholeheartedly welcome, uh, that the um, pass card piece doesn't actually show up until later in the game. So I'm not going to look around more here. In fact, what we should do is actually um, go back to Karolinski's house and go into his bedroom and watch a cutscene, apparently. Oh, oh, dearie me. Someone's been having a little... Someone's been staying very hydrated. Good evening. Oh boy, when is that time? You know, when you're just leaning on something and just having a... Can't barely get the glass up to your mouth. That's when you should, you know... That's when you should stop, I feel. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Hello. Look who it is. Tex Murphy, handsome DI on a case from hell. <laughs> I bet you've solved this damn mystery by now, haven't you? Not really. I think I've solved one mystery, though. And here I am. Sylvia Linsky, the bereaved client whose daddy took a dive into the San Francisco Bay. That sounds interesting. Sounds like you've had too much to drink. Oh, don't tell me I've had too much to drink. I have plenty to drink about. More than you know. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> That's just a grief <laughs> what do you know about grief? Huh? Is your daddy dead? Did your mom walk out on you before you could even pronounce your own name? Huh? <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, maybe not, but I turned in a guy. That was a no. bit of a bother. What it's like to be absolutely alone? That's what I am now alone. I, I don't have anybody now. Oh, come on, you have Dolores Lightbody. She loves you. Sylvia, I'm really sorry. Don't, don't, don't pity me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Go away. <laughs> what you don't need is any more of this. What you do need is some Betty Pie. No, yeah, no, just one more for the road. Mr. Murphy, I'm surprised that you're taking advantage of a woman who's had too much to drink. <laughs> I think she'd fall asleep halfway if he tried to take advantage. I require my victims to be at least sober enough to sign a waiver. You pass that point. Long also, please don't describe your romantic encounters as victims. Oh, sleep tight. You're not gonna like anything in the morning. Maybe bacon. Maybe she'll like bacon. 
You know, when we first met, it wasn't all that different from your night with Sylvia. But of course, you were the one that was... Oh yeah, we got the origin story now. Yes, yeah. I see you guys in the chat. Hello, the I am here. Day celebration at the Bruin Stew? Oh. I wasn't that drunk. Oh no, we, we met before Louis' party. Don't you remember? Come on. Sweetie. Oh, I do remember something, but I thought that was a dream. It's all kind of fuzzy. Good morning. <laughs> okay, buddy. Come on. Time to go home. Louie. No. Louie, one more. Hey, hey, let's get going, bud. Come on. Morning. You've got places to go. I've got... Oh, oh come on, guy. Get out of here. Look Sorry. at what you've done to my stand. I can get those. No, I don't Sorry, need your let me help. help you with that. Get your hands off me, you parrot. Doing good. Yeah, I guess that wasn't a very promising thing. She can hold her own. Now I know why I don't remember. You punched me. I mean, my jaw hurt for a week and I never did figure out why. Well, it was kind of a down period in my life. <laughs> Let's have some more to drink. Well, I've gotten better. Haven't they? Also, the subtitles are out of sync. That's not my... Oh, that's, but I'm dying that's the game. Out how you went from the starched, pressed young P.I. to a puddle of drool. Let's hear some more about your story. Well, you're making it sound so glamorous. What did you do after you left Sylvia? Well, the next morning, Dolores Lightbody contacted me. She had got an appointment with Arnold Sternwood out at the North Hill Clinic. And I went out to see him. Dum 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 dum. Now, apparently, we do not go back to. Um, put the bishop piece on Karolinski's uh, chessboard, which is what I was going to do. This won't take long, will it? I have an extremely... Oh, this guy has... <clears throat> I suddenly turned into... Um, uh, suddenly turned into Werner Huber from the, from the Lion Gaston, or whatever the fuck it's called in, in, in Rittersburg. Werewolf. Um... Yes, this guy has an amazingly long stick up his ass. In fact, I think that's the only reason he's standing right now. That stick up his ass is how he propels himself across the floor. Um, just gonna go to the chat because things are happening. Seven people are watching. Be still my heart. Um, hello. Just, again, the setup here is game's over here, camera's over here, chat is way down there on my laptop. Long way away. So if you'll excuse me for just one second, I just got... Got to scroll through this thing. Thank you, Syriar, for explaining how the uh, chatty thing works. Um, just scrolled up a bit there. Andy P, are you there, trolls? Yes, I am. I am here. I am here. Uh, and I am here for you. Uh, people are talking about uh, next Tuesday. Yes. Yes, next Tuesday we'll be playing the seventh guest and uh, people can uh, join in and actually play the game with me. If you go to patreon.com slash historian, you'll be um, invited into the special SQH backer discord thing and there'll be a parsec link to my computer so you can uh, interact with the game. Per my permission, of course. Um, so that's going to be an awful lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. Um, and da, 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 da. Well, that's about it. <laughs> but thank you so much for showing up, each and every fucking one of you. Yes, voting time! Syriar says voting time. Now, th this just to fill you in if you don't know how this works, voting time means you get to vote on the um, dialogue options the text says. Now, the first three votes that come in are the ones that I'm going... If there's a majority vote in the first three votes, then that's what I'm going for, A, B, or C. And if it's a tie, then the next vote that comes in is the tiebreaker. So, and Lucy says she sent a friend request. I got your friend request, and that was good. So, well, you're in. But uh, every, everyone on the uh, SQH Backer Discord uh, is going to have like a just a link you can click on. I don't think we have to necessarily be friends. I don't know. I actually don't know how Parsec works, but... You have to download this uh, client at parsecgaming.com and uh, as long as you have that thing going, I think we should be fine. 
<laughs> yes, Andy P says, just a dollar to play with trolls. No dirty stuff, of course. Well, if you play your cards right, I'm sure we can work something out. Syria is the only one who's voting, which um, which is good enough for me. Hey, ouch! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Like <laughs> Full docket. <laughs> so, what can I? No do? humor. The stick off my ass does not include a laugh track. All right, are we the clinical connoisseur? Oh my, what a fancy place you have here! <laughs> or, as the seventh guest would say, my isn't this a cheery place? Um, a vague implication, probably referring to the aforementioned stick up his ass, or we just get right to the point. Tech Murphy, PI, want to talk to you. How's tricks? Oh, let's see. That's two votes for A and one vote for C. Thanks for playing. Well, I've always been fascinated by any kind of medical facility. Could you tell me about Northville? We offer every type of quality health care and they're rated among the 10 best hospitals in the world. Ooh. So, what do we want to know? Do we want to know about Linsky's work or his departure? I'm not sure if it means departure from the North Hill Clinic or just <whistles> departure. Or a delicate question. Veritas says, I don't know how well Parsec would work for me, sadly. Well, it's just a screen sharing service. So unless, uh, I, I do I don't know you're in uh, Australia, I believe. So yeah, internet connections being what they are. Um, but hey, it's worth a shot, isn't it? That is two votes for B. Let's, Linsky's <whistles> departure. Wow. So working here is not only fun, it's prestigious too. Oh, he did not like that one bit. So, why would Karolinski leave? He signed a deal to write a book. His daughter would probably have more details, especially if there was any money. Ooh, zing! Confidentially, I try to determine whether Carl's daughter had something to do with his suicide. Oh, just straight to it. Whatever you do, don't let her get her hooks into you. Oh, d you talking to me? Me? What's your problem? What's your point? Okay, so, so, so either we go, you know, straight for the jugular, or we sort of go for the jugular and miss, or we just go, huh? What? So that's one for C. Could you turn the game volume up a little? Yes, I could indeed. It's quite low on my end as well. Actually, you know what? See if I can alt-tap out of the game and turn this up a bit, because I think that might help. Oh, and it still works. We do have the weight cursor, but I hope that's fine. One vote for C, one vote for B. Actually, I'll, I'm just going to go with what's your problem. It still plays. Sounds like the voice of bitter personal experience, Mr. Sternland. I happen to be a happily married man. I take exception to your inference. Now, I don't mean to be unaccommodating, Mr. Murphy, but I really do have urgent matters to attend to. Look, sorry, can I just have a couple of minutes? All right, we do have a couple of minutes. I hope the, I just adjusted the volume on OBS as well. I hope that's a little better. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? So. Let's get in an Oh, pixelated person. All right, let's just ask about Carl and let's see. Uh, let me know if the uh, volume thing has improved. Carl worked here for 26 years. Over the past few years, his age forced him to give up surgery in favor of research. We were friends, though not extremely close. I was sorry to learn of his pre- Put some feeling into it, goddammit. <laughs> that hair, natural. Well, it kind of just looks like this when I get out of bed. But thank you. Oh, insurance policy. Yeah, he did have one taken out that was huge and gigantic, and apparently Sylvia says she's not going to see a dime of it, but I'm not so sure about that. I can't give you any details. Oh, thanks a lot. 
Uh, Wanda Peck is a name that showed up in Karolinski's uh, storage room. Let's just see if he knows anyone, anything about her. Miss Peck works for Capricorn. While I respect her professionalism and the ideas of the organization for which she works, I don't look back on our brief association with any fondness. Did she try to poke your nose? Did she? She just went like this, didn't she? Yes, you did not like that. No. Who's Rona? The name oh, wait. He gave us, an, he gave us uh, Capricorn. As we know from, um, uh, from Under Killing Moon, Capricorn is this organization that uh, infiltrates cults and unravels them from within before they become a threat to the public. About a year ago, Capricorn came to us, to Karl Linsky specifically, with allegations of unethical research practices. It wasn't cutting up charges dead people. Completely without merit. But Carl decided to take a voluntary leave of absence, and Capricorn decided to not pursue the investigation. Okay, so they're just looking into medical practices now? That seems very uncult like, but maybe maybe there were some black robes involved, some some candles, I don't know, chanting. Overlord? I can't give you any details regarding yeah, you suspicious bastard. Who would SF be then? We saw that in uh, Karolinski's warehouse as well. I've never heard of it. Yes, this guy does have cotton balls in his mouth. Absolutely. And uh, regarding the volume, the uh, the volume in the game is all over the place. Sometimes the FMVs are crazy loud. Sometimes they're not, as in this case. So, uh, so do uh, do let me know if uh, if things start sucking more than they should. I assure you, Mr. Murphy, I had no part in the death of Karl Linsky. Wasn't really asking that. I just wanted to hear about your life's work and everything. But okay, if you want to go there, sure. Linsky's life insurance. What, what's the difference between insurance policy and Linsky's life insurance? But anyway, he has no fucking idea himself. Um, the clinic, I think we've uh, talked about that for a bit. We'll get back to it. Linsky's will. Until Ms. Lightbody contacted me, I was unaware that Carl had made North Hill a beneficiary in his will. Which was pretty good news for you, I would assume. Oh, and Blaine, the person who wrote the I'll kill you notes that was in Linsky's attic office. One who worked for us as an intern. He was fired as a result of his unprofessional behavior i have no idea where living we're... under a bridge probably um <laughs> not to get too personal but uh carl breaking up with dolores i've never heard oh of her. can't imagine you would how about dolores i believe she was carl's fiance as well as the executor of his will i didn't know her prior to carl's death <laughs> I was just distracted by the chats. Uh, Feridus asks, is sucking hard or bad? Well, when you put it like that. Um, <laughs> uh, Lucy. Un uh, Lucy says, uh, on contradiction, the sound was fine. Yeah, that's because uh, contradiction is just streaming and playing off the same computer. So uh, what I hear coming out of my little box down here is the same thing that you would hear uh, on the stream. This is a little more complicated. It's going through the capture card. And um, I, I did I, when I listened back to uh, the uh, VOD from last Sunday, the sound was a little low in places. Uh, so I actually turned it up before starting the game. <laughs> and now I've had to turn it up again. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a trial and error business, but at least the game is running. Wow. Dolores rhymes with a female body part. Thanks for playing, Andy P. I've been known to play chess on occasion. In those rare moments when I have time for leisure. Suit Larry. Uh, okay, now we're just getting into stuff that... It, oh, well, please, can I just have a moment? What's your opinion of chess? That company supplies us with many technologically advanced medications, including what you might call anti-aging drugs they're very much on the cutting edge in their field oh um carl had some syringes in his kitchen that were labeled de leon health services so he was taking anti-aging drugs seems a bit weird carl gave me no indication of being suicidal of course 
I hadn't seen him in over two months. And of course, Sylvia. Brace yourselves. This might get a bit ugly. That young woman is trouble. I won't burden you with the details. Suffice it to say that she has a way with older men and knows how to get. <laughs> did she tickle your chin? I think she tickled your chin, didn't she? Yes, she did. How about me? You like me? I don't want to seem rude, but I really do have many pressing engagements. Let's stick to business, shall we? All right, I'll just ask him about his own clinic and then we'll fuck off. I consider it an honor to work here in light of the clinic's well-deserved... I just like to leave all of them checked so that when I come back and a new option has appeared, then that's the only one that doesn't have a check mark. All right, I'm done. I'm leaving. Let's go back to... As I Oh, we can go and see Capricorn now. No! I want to go back and do the thing before I forget. Or just watch another cutscene. Hello, I enter scene, stage left. Tex, let me apologize for last night. The things I said were 10% depression and 90%... How's the hangover? Hopefully there's something I can do to... Now nah, you tried that last out. night. Um, not, not terribly receptive. Yet. If there's anything else you need. Just ask. All right, we'll do that. Uh, haven't we gone through all of this? All I guess not. Okay. Um, let's hear about the De Leon Health Service thing because I want to. I want this cleared up. Was he taking anti-aging drugs or was it like, I don't know, diabetes or some shit? I don't know. What Thanks for clearing that up. That's fantastic. Chess. My father loved chess. He used to say I'd be a good player, but I've never been interested in it. Well, uh, we so far uh, Sylvia has been characterized as a master manipulator. What's she looking at? I'm over here. Hello, hello. Eyes on me. Um, master manipulator. So, so I guess that's sort of a hint that uh, her father said she'd be good at chess. <laughs> Sneaky bitch. Oh, chance. <laughs> Tika says, look around. Well, you peek around the room and all you see is a green screen. Also, I, for some reason, I was channeling the colonel there. You peek around the room. All right, that's just the colonel drunk. All right, Dolores. <sighs> She's a hideous woman. If she weren't handling my father's will, I would have nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, would you really? All right. Uh, all, okay, do you know anyone late named uh, Rona Morgan? I've never heard Bugger. of her. How about SF? Doesn't sound Traptastic. Um, breaking up with Dolores. If my father was planning on dumping Dolores, it wouldn't be a surprise. I never understood what he saw in her in the first place. I do! It's that nose twitch, right? Oh, yeah, that kills me, doesn't it? Okay, Capricorn? My father had some kind of run-in with them a while ago, but he didn't give me any... He was details. desecrating corpses, wasn't he? You fucking look at me! All right, insurance policy? Mm, so, you found the policy. Well, not that it's going to do me any good, but who knows? Maybe things... Yeah, maybe I get paid. That'd be fantastic. Uh, so, Linsky's life insurance. I'll admit, I could use the insurance money, but I doubt I'll ever get it. Unless I'm successful. Technically, I'm your meal ticket at this point. How about the will? As I said, my father's will is more trouble than... Yeah, right, dead and everything. All right, how about how about Arnold? Does he actually have a stick up his ass? Does it bend? How does he sit down? He runs North Hill Clinic. I don't know him very well, but I've seen him around. Ah, yes, never, but never seen him sitting. Important little fact there. That's where my father worked. He was highly respected in his... Cutting up dead bodies in the basement? Yes, yes, he was very highly respected in the... Cloaked, robed, uh, sus underground society, yes. I don't know what that is. She said enigmatically. All right, I think that covers all. Goodbye. Going back to Karolinski's home. Just having a quick look at the chat. Yeah, nice wig, isn't it? <laughs> all right, let's go and do that, because I think that unlocks uh, one of those hideous, hideous... Ow! I gotta stop slamming doors in my face. Uh, hideous logic puzzles. He says one piece is missing from this. Hello, hotspot. There you are. 
There are only 31 pieces on the chessboard. Seems like an yeah, odd well, number. Yeah, guess what I... Where, where the hell is it? Dude, I... Did I forget to pick it up? Are you fucking kidding me? That's the last thing I did before I saved my game last time, wasn't it? Surely. Well, stop calling me Shirley. All right. It's under the pillow. God damn it. Look, I didn't pick it up. Wee. 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 Come on. You, you do not remove inventory items on my watch. Pass card pieces. Bishop, tiny bishop, come on, what the fuck is it? Oh, you sneaky cunt. Can't move this. This blanket's a pretty color. So that's how it's gonna be, is it? Oh, you rotten bastard. Is this a game bug? I'm not feeling it. Oh, God. Oh, well, I guess we'll just carry on. Is anyone gonna help me? The bishop is later. The pills were there. Oh, thank fucking Christ, Red Star. Thank you for telling me. Her, his pills, not his bishop. The bishop comes later. Sorry, got my things mixed up. Let's go have a chat with Capricorn then. And maybe see if uh, you'll rec recognize the actor here. Actress. I dealt with Capricorn in one of my later Under cases, Killing Moon. But this was the first time in the Capricorn. This was building. before they were all smashed I mean, to the shit. The exterior was impressive, but what I saw inside was dynamite. Some woman, I guess. Well, from your choice of metaphors, I don't think I'm going to like this part of the story very much. Well, it was hard the entire time. Is that a monkey skull on the computer in the background? I think it is. They're doing monkey business. Maybe that's what Karolinski was up to. Well, hello, legs. Do you have a face attached? I am enigmatically pointing in a direction. Want to pack? How may I help you, Mr. Murphy? Taking all guesses. Bets. Whatever you got. Yes, it's the Countess Renier. Back for more, I see. Now, this is actually the uh, uh, a completely different character, but it's the same actress. Ooh. Summer says she's out of the loop on this game at the moment. I am steadily keeping myself out of the loop, imagining I pick up inventory items that weren't actually there. And she can only stick around for 15 to 20 minutes. That's what a shame. Well, we're glad to see you here. Voting is coming in A, C, and B. So next vote is Le Taibrecher. And I shall stay hydrated, which is very important this day and age. Cheers. That's two votes for A. Here we go. A tried and true pickup line. Okay. If you like. Actually, they're all pretty bad. But okay, let's, let's give it a shot. I'm interested in what you people do here at Capricorn. I'm a Pisces, by the way. That's funny. We're a private organization that infiltrates and exploits any group whose intent is to infringe on civil liberties. I'm a Leo, by the way. Wow, I guess. Oh, just making conversation. Or the ultimate cliche. Or a heartfelt proposal. <laughs> ah, well, now that we've established our zodiac, will you marry me? Capricorn again. Yes, yes, they seem to crop up a lot, don't they? Actually, this is just the second time they've cropped up, but um, it's actually kind of interesting to see Capricorn before. Also, she lost her head. Oh my god, she has no head. It was just lopped off by the green screen. It's interesting to see Capricorn um, uh, as as an actual organization, because in Hunter Killing Moon, once you learn of them, they're already, they're all gone or dead or whatever. And those were all... Majority votes for B. Ultimate cliche. So what is a gorgeous woman like you doing in a place like... Working. Why didn't you just tell me the reason for your visit? Okay, I will explain myself or refer to my client's father. 
or explain the case. This might actually be slightly important. Now again, there are no branching paths in this case, so we can't technically fuck up. This is just for shits and giggles. And Redstar says, there's still an item you did not find in the warehouse. Fine, I'll go back and have another look. Maybe when uh, the game sort of points out what item it is I need. Anyway, votes are coming in. That's two votes for B. Refer to your client's father. I'd like you to tell me everything you know about Carl Linsky. I'm investigating See, the volume suicide. just went way up. I read about Linsky's death. I was sad about it. Oh, you look it. But why do you want to talk to me? Take a seat. What, here? On the floor? Okay. Well, are we looking for a motive? Are we looking for a lead? Or are we looking for love? I'll bet I know what you guys are gonna... No, wait, Red Star, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I will comb over that motherfucking location with a fine-tooth comb, nose to ground. Every square inch, and I will do it on stream just to bore the piss out of everyone. Also, two votes for C. How did I fucking guess? Okay. I admit this was a pretense, but I really wanted to get your attention. Well, now that we've met... Oh, she does this Countess Renier thing again. The one, one hand over the other thing. Uh, oh, God. All right. Real reason I'm here. Carly boy. About a year ago, we were told that Mr. Linsky was conducting unethical practices on comatose and terminal... That was very close to what I said. Clinic. I looked into the matter, but was unable to prove anything. Mr. Linsky voluntarily took a leave of absence, saying he had other projects to pursue, so we decided to drop the investigation. Have you ever noticed how her neck always cranes? Like that way? Really distracting. Like, uh, like... Uh, the stick that's up uh, uh, Arnold Sternwood's ass is one that he removed from Wanda Beck's ass, apparently. Or at least her spine. <laughs> Alright. Capricorn's primary mission is to identify, then infiltrate organizations suspected of practicing extreme discrimination. These include everything from UFO cults to hate groups to unethical research scientists. So extreme discrimination is cutting up comatose patients. Now, I don't agree with the practice, but uh, I would say like a radical right-wing neo-Nazi group is a slightly more of pressing concern. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they have different departments for... Yeah. I, who, who's Rona? Never heard no one before. has. It's really weird. Okay. Um, how about Arnold? We'll get back to these guys. I don't think she knows anything about Overlord or who SF could be. Actually, might SF. Can't then never fucking mind. Okay, Arnold. As the director of the clinic, he was understandably eager to avoid any scandal and was very helpful throughout our investigation of Karolinski. Well, that's fucking brilliant, isn't it? And that just removes him from the list, so we don't have to ask about him anymore. How about the clinic? What did, were, were people making zombies in the basement? As you probably know, the clinic has an outstanding reputation. We were surprised when the allegations against Carl Lindsay As came Sternwood up. keeps bringing up, yes, this is a fancy place. You shouldn't be here. Your sneakers are too white. I play occasionally, but I like my sports a little more physical. For a second there, I thought she was going to do the nose twitch. Uh, no, that is um, not her deal. I don't have any information Fucking knew on it. that. They've never been accused of making zombies, have they? Never heard that name before. There's a little twitch in her hair there. How long does that take to set in the morning, by the way? Okay, who's Overlord? Come on, spill it. I keep hearing the word Overlord, especially linked to the Law and Order Party. I don't know if it's a person in place or thing, but it seems to represent a lot of power. Maybe they can give you your spine back. Okay, what the hell's the Law and Order Party? We're putting a lot of our resources into investigating Law and Order. Their legal people make sure they don't cross the line publicly, but their ideology is pretty frightening to anyone with any intelligence or belief in human rights. Take that, neo-Nazis. Because that's, in fact, what they are. It's a neo-Nazi uh, conglomeration. That's not even a word, but I just invented it, so it is now. 
I would prefer to keep our relationship strictly professional. I do mind. mind. But perhaps we can help each other out. All right. I actually don't mind. Off you go. You scare the shit out of me, Countess. Okay. Going back to the warehouse. Thanks, Red Star. <laughs> no, actually. Really. Really, thanks. Um, puns are amazing. I thought white sneakers fit in the hospital. They Actually, they probably should. Conglomerates. Yes, that is, in fact, the actual word. Okay, bookshelf. There's nothing here. Now, I'm no brain surgeon, but if I were, all these books might make sense. Linsky was obviously doing some heavy-duty research in this. And place. it's not the pass card piece. And I, um, I, in fact, don't even know what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's no key in the ignition. Even if there was, who cares? I, I would it. love to see text just tool around in this fucking thing. Just going, hey, Wanda, I've come to take you away from this dreary place. Hello, do I, I fucking opened this thing. Oh, yes. That didn't take long, did it? It's like a package of electrical doohickeys. I love electrical doohickeys. I shall have you and I shall ins uh, inspect you. Yes. The circuit conductor kit could come in handy if I ever need to repair a circuit grid. Hey, it's the first time for yeah, everything. We are going to have to repair a circuit grid at some point. Thank you. Thank you, Red Star. You're my red star. Reminds me of a birthday massacre song, which I quite like. Right. Okay, we're done here now, aren't we? Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ooh, look. A match made in heaven. Uh, let's go and... Okay, Law and Order Party is our next lead. So... I would like to talk to Eve Clemens about them. She might know more. I'm busy, Murphy. Yeah, you look it. Make it quick. I will make no such promises. I don't meddle in politics, but I like most of what I've heard from the Law and Order Party. It's about time government did something to clean up the streets and get rid of all the illegals. Wow. Our respect for the law enforcement in this age just went from... Eh, to <laughs> Fuck you, lady. I've heard of it. But I don't have any privileged information about it. Yeah, why don't you go beat up a person of less fortune? I've heard of it. Oh, shut up. All right, that's it. Okay, so she's just a racist. Cool, moving on. I doubt he is. Oh, oh dear God. Listen, Mr. Murphy, I've been cooperative and I've answered all your questions already. I'm under no obligation to help you. Yes, but I have a fresh new stick for your ass. Wouldn't you like that? Would you like that? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. De -de -de. Uh, fashion detective, idle thread, or blue collar kiss up? Two votes for C. Let's kiss. Right, let's pucker up. I'm just doing my job, Mr. Sternwood. And I know it's not as exciting or as glamorous as yours, but could really use your help. Fine. Get to Fuck the Fuck you. That was my point. Nice to meet you. See you later. Law and order. I am sympathetic to the Law and Order Party. He's party. a Nazi as well. Though I'm not a registered member of the Law and Order Party. I highly doubt it. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Fuck you. How about Dolores? I knew you'd be back. I just never dreamed it would be so soon. Love those cigarettes. Okay, okay. You guys definitely need to get in on, on this. Yeah. Or do we play it to the hilt? Are we sort of grateful? Or <laughs> tell it like it is. Crush this poor woman's spirit. Yes, Summer. Law and Order Party are Nazis. Well, not technically. Well, they're just assholes. But slightly Nazi. That's one vote for A, one disparaging vote for C, and another for A. Play it to the hilt. Thank you. Well, I just came by to see how much longer you're going to be in mourning. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> you rap scallion. You're just going to have to bide your time a little longer. But it will be worth it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Yes! Oh, it even freeze frames on it. Cool. All right, ask about Nazis. 
Well, they're a bit too right-wing for me, but I, I do agree with many of their policies. Oh, and they have the most handsome and attractive gubernatorial candidate. Who is that, then? Oh, you're not actually going to ask about that, are you? That's some sort of spy organization. Carl didn't think too fondly of it for some mm, reason. For some reason, they thought he was making zombies in the basement. Oh, I wish I could be a Steady on, help. steady on. We're not quite there yet. Yeah, SF. Oh, oh. I seem to remember Carl mentioning somebody with those initials. It was, it was Sunny, Sunny something rather Sunny Fletcher. Yes, I'm certain that it was. Sunny. There we fucking go. I think he was a PI, like you. Although I doubt he was as handsome. I don't know what he was doing for Carl. Probably investigating something. Okay, who the fuck is Sonny Fletcher? Let's go and see who... Uh, actually, Capricorn might... Oh, no, oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Um, Detective Nazi over here might have some idea who Sonny is. Older guy. He's a PI like you, or used to be. He has a little problem with the bottle. Cool, I can sympathize. Not gonna tell me his address? Well, fuck you then. Oh, maybe, maybe, da 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 da. Maybe Sylvie actually knows. What can I do? To Answer my questions. I didn't know most of my father's associates. Bugger me sideways with a spoon. How about the. Uh, don't tell me you're a Nazi, too. I'm not really interested in politics, but I can tell you my father didn't care much for the Law and Order Party. There we fucking go. All right. Done. Uh, who else? Let's see what the chat has to say. Sonny Bonds would be against the Law and Order Party. I, I, <laughs> what? Are, are, are people actually suggesting that the, uh, the the lead candidate for the Law and Order Party is Sonny Bonds, or am I completely blanking here? Probably the latter. Um, Capricorn Lady, would you happen to know anything about him? So. How was your investigation? Don't you have a desk chair? All right, let's just get this over quickly. Chat, last chance for love, Google it, or stick to business. I'm going to wager um, an approach for you. I would think it might end up being B, but I'm just gonna just gonna see how this plays out. Not very quickly. Uh, again, there's a lag on my end, so uh, I do apologize for that. One vote for A coming in, uh, because I'm co-streaming this on uh, on three different networks. You can watch this on YouTube, or on Twitch, or on whatever the hell Mixer.com is. Microsoft's, uh, uh, we want to do things like Twitch as well, that kind of thing. A... A and A. As Andy P says, A all day. Last chance for love. Fine. You know, when I was here before, I forgot to mention that I cook, I clean, and I'm a love machine. You flatter me. Do, do, but do we? I'd be more comfortable if it kept this. I doubt it. What have you found out? Very much doubt we're actually flattering her. Okay. Who's Sonny Boy? Can't help you there. Fuck me sideways. Okay, do we have to look this dude up in the fucking phone book or something? Oh, I know. <laughs> we have a phone book. Or, or we, we, we have this thing. American Info Database. There you go. What topic Shut up. To research? A search for information. Sunny Fletch has... What we might as well get the Law and Order Party up as well, because that'll probably give us the candidate name. A search for information. Law and order party has what? Yeah, they're not space Nazis yet. They're just regular Nazis. Thank you for using. There we go. All right, law and order party. First of all, organized 2032 to oppose illegal immigration, <sighs> rising crime rates, and the perceived ineffectiveness of the American criminal justice system. Okay, the last one I can get behind. Last year's elections resulted in 27 victories for the law and order party, all at the municipal level. Still a political minority, Law & Order has yet to win a state seat, but are gaining public support, according to exit polls. People hate other people. 
Actually, that should be the name of the party. The people who hate other people party. Okay, Sonny Fletcher, married, whatever, wife died, uh, drunk driving convictions, <laughs> complete criminal record available from the San Francisco Police Department. But we didn't bother because she's a Nazi. Uh, license revoked twice, last year's tax return, two year lease, uh, current address unknown. Well, suck me sideways. Okay. Is there anything else we need to ask this thing about? Forget. What topic would you like us to research? Uh, Capricorn. Sonny's criminal record. Oh, that turned... Ah, 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 ah. Yes, Thank yes, yes. Now know. we go and ask Detective Goebbels about his criminal record. Yes. Okay, look. Fletcher's had a few DUIs. A few? He's a friend of the colonel's, and as a favor, we didn't make him do any time. So that's how it you works. Keep it to yourself. I'll call Fletcher's parole officer and let you know where you can find some. I would love that. Thank you. End conversation. And there he fucking is. Now, uh, crossing my fingers, there's, there's not going to be a crash because, my God, this this is one of the... This is Henry Darrow, uh, who plays Sonny Fletcher. And he's on, he's on the box because, ooh, character actor and all that. And they got him in for just one or two scenes of Sonny Fletcher. You can ask him stuff and this dude can act i mean holy christ i love the shit out of dolores Lightbody, but this dude can act and he's not even the best actor in the game michael york's coming up later but but for right now feast your fucking eyes on this if i can get in i seem to remember there might be a locked door or something the address detective Clemens yeah from sunny fletcher god damn it officer turned out to be a filthy vermin infested motel it was a dump and it smelled like a porta potty at a chili cook-off <sighs> <laughs> okay, okay, I get the point. Sorry. I just couldn't imagine why Carl Linsky would hire a detective who lived in a place like that. I don't think he's gonna let us in. He might, though. Oh, and this is a real set, too. Uh, mo most of this game is shot on blue screen, as is sometimes painfully obvious, but this was actually on a real set. Because it has shadows and everything. Good evening, plywood door, almost about to break. Hello. Those tricks. What do you want? What do we want indeed? Summer is fixated on the bananas in our inventory. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll get to the bananas. You can have your potassium. But are we eager to chat? Or the bearer of glad tidings? Or on a hunt for clues? Now, I don't recall you have to bribe him to get in. But... All right. Uh, bearer of glad tidings would uh, would flash me back to that puzzle in Pandora Directive where you have to find a bottle of scotch to the street preacher Gary. We have a vote for B and a vote for C. Hunt for clues, bearer of glad tidings. So no one is eager to chat. Intriguing. Interesting if true. Two votes for C. On a hunt for clues. Here we go. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm on a scavenger hunt. I'm looking for a spool of thread, a shoehorn, and the answer to a question. Why did Carl Linsky throw himself off the Golden Gate? Why are you so close to the fucking screen? What makes you think I know Carl Linsky? What does indeed? Well, mm, a mouth-watering offer, which would involve uh, the old... Uh, P.I. Fuel, basically. Uh, or see through the stall, or make a reasonable deal. Something tells me we need to bribe the shit out of this person. Also, these are very disturbing close-ups. They're very, very close to the camera. Uh, C, C, B, and A. Two votes for A. Mouth-watering offer. Listen, Sonny, if you'll answer a few quick questions for me, I'll make it worth your while. What would you say to a nice big plate of Rice Krispie treats? <laughs> so, your P.I. Yes, well, duh. Also, your face melted. Um, well, duh. Or fraternize. Or keep things light. Actually, an interesting one, this one. Um, do we just go, well, what do you fucking think? I don't just knock on people's doors for no fucking reason. Um, Syria is going with fraternize. And yeah, that is, it, it is a very interesting way to shoot the scene. I, I concur. Mm. 
fraternizing. Yeah, just go in and rub some shoulders and go, yeah, yeah, I've, I've solved cases too. Well, mostly I, I turn in my colleagues uh, to um, ethics boards. And uh, you know what? Let's just go with B. I'm interested. I like to say, brother, takes one to know one. My name's Murphy. Go fuck yourself, Murphy. Right. Come in, Murphy. I'll talk. Cool, we're in. Now the volume just cranks, so... Casa es tu casa. Thanks. Close the door. In my casa. Nice place. Yeah. My travel agent got it for me. I'd get a new travel agent. <laughs> Is this your permanent residence? It just might be, why? That's just... It's like you're hiding out from bill collectors or something. Mmm, I guess you could say that. Come on! What do you want from me, huh? I don't know, a Tic Tac? I understand Carl Linsky had hired you. At least, before he died. I had nothing to do with Carl Linsky buying the farm. Bible truth. Mm. <laughs> the Bible says the truth will set you free. What were you working on with Linsky? Uh, okay, I guess I can tell you now, it doesn't matter. He wanted me to find some people for him. Why? I don't know. Man gives me a list of names and I go to work, okay? If you don't mind me saying, why would Linsky hire you? You don't look like you're in much condition to be working. Oh, that's low. That's low. I haven't had a drink in almost two years! Until last week! I guess you're pretty thirsty. Best line in. You're funny, man! You're so funny. Jeez. I feel really bad for talking over that you're funny man line, because that was you working on this perfect. <sighs> Look, uh, I just tracked down two people, all right? It was a Val Davis and a Rona Morgan. Didn't take me any time. I found out where they were. They were in the ground, and they hadn't been there too long. Is that when you dropped the case? Yeah, around there. Look, I... I prefer not to talk about this anymore, okay? So, um, your casa... Si casa is not mi casa no more? If you could just give me some more information about the names on the list. I can't remember. Come on, don't hold out on me. You want a bribe or something? You know that's illegal. I can't remember. Bible's truth. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm working on Linsky's suicide, and I just need some information, a clue or a lead, something to keep the thing going. Wait a minute. All right. Yeah, all right. Tell me to hang on to it, a bee's hot, in case anything happened to it. Hey. Also, was it sitting on Martian Memorandum, the game? I think it was. Just a bishop. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Just a warning. You better get off this case right now. Judgment Day is looking for me, and it could look for you, too. Better get out, amigo. I'll keep your warning in mind. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe we'll see each other around. Yeah, maybe. Hey. Hey. I'll shut the door. And the whole room just reverberates, but anyway, that is one of the best scenes in the game. When he turns around and goes, You're funny, man! Uh, you can you can like see uh, Chris Jones just go white as a sheet, and he was actually genuinely that's that's not acting. Chris was <laughs> genuinely like taken aback. Oh my god, this dude wants to kill me. Um, at least that's what he's said in interviews. Um, so great fucking scene there. I I I love the line of him going. You must have been pretty thirsty by then. 
I had forgotten that the Your Funny Man line comes after that, so I was just about to say, best line of the game. I hope, that, I hope there was a little pause there and then I fucked it up. So anyway. Uh, uh, and now we actually have the bishop. Cool. I should probably save my game as well. How is I don't know. I'm just going to leave because uh, I want to save my game. I got Le Bishop. Uh, got Le Bishop. Pretty cool. Yes. And gonna head in here. Ow! And stick it on the chessboard. Finally, finally, here we go. Go, hotspot. Make yourself known. Fuck you. Very finicky little hotspot. There you. Well, oh, that piece work. of shit. There are only thirty-one Must have clicked on, on the, the wrong part. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's probably something on the bottom of this. I must, must inspect it. Mm, what's this? Two pieces for the There you go. Okay, so we just threw away the bishop. Never fucking mind. We've got a pass. Did anyone see? What's happening? Okay. Uh, the uh, animation for combining is kind of broken, but anyway, I got all the pass card pieces. <sighs> so how's everyone in the chat doing? How, did you guys like that? Seen there, I thought it was fan fucking tastic. This one's not too bad, so this shouldn't take too long, he said. And meanwhile, 30 minutes later, there they still were. That right. See, this is a little trickier than the. Uh, that's not right at all. A little trickier than the uh, uh, normal sliding tile puzzles that are in text games, uh, simply because. Will you snap in place, please. Coctronics. Uh, because you can rotate them more degrees than uh, than normal. But uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult, I feel. And I guess it kind of was. Oh, wait, you go over here, right? Yeah, you do. So that thing is in the wrong place. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding? 911, screw this. I'm not going to sit around and fuck with this shit. There you go. That's the cheat code to finish all the puzzles. I know it's just a simple sliding tile puzzle, but. That's card E. Well, if they use the same alphabet I do, that means there are at least five of these cards floating around. Maybe more. You don't want to sit here and watch me struggle with logic puzzles. I'm, I'm dead sure. I don't want to sit here and watch me struggle with logic puzzles. So let's go and shove this thing in the pass card reader. Ooh. They speed along the ground. I suddenly, I suddenly shrunk a bit. Then I, I'm, I mean, I am at, I am at, uh, at level, but this, this table is very high. Or I'm just scooting around, uh, like, uh, uh fucking uh, Groucho Marx, just scooting around on my knees. Mm, I don't know. Nope, no puzzle. Right, the uh, chess thing is not a puzzle indeed. Uh, we should put this in here. Password, we know this one. Bishop. Mr. Fletcher, if something has happened to me, you can be sure it was murder. Let my daughter Sylvia know. I think she's uh, found out. At this point, I can't say for certain who would want me dead, though it may be related to the project I contracted to work on. Other than Val Davis, Rona Morgan, and Bosworth Clark... I haven't been able to find out the names of others involved in the project. If you can track down Bossworth Clark, he may be the best bet for additional information. Also, I have an address for you to check out. Route 12, Box 4, Fresno, California. Whoever's running the project could be based there. Thank you, Carl. Why was that on his uh, pass card? I'm not entirely sure, but did that open up a new location for me? Was I supposed to look at that to get the location thing? Yes, Pass yes, yes, yes. Up. Now I'll need to scan the Hello, password. hello, Bishop. That's an address. I'm supposed to go to the address. God damn it. Okay. Um, we got some new names too. Let's okay, let's uh, head back to our office and ask this magical device. 
What topic would you like us to research? Uh, Val Davis. A search for Val has been. What other topic? And why can't we ask about Bossworth Clark? Say I can search for Linsky's pass card. A search for him for Carl Linsky has been. What Screw other you. All right. Thank you. Leaving. For Val Davis. The other one just didn't go through at all. Screw it. Uh, Val Davis, married, who cares, graduated university, divorced, biological, died October 26th in a speeder crash. Well, that's bad. Maybe we should go ask uh, Detective Nazi if, he, if she's heard of any of these. Yes, yes, you're very tired, I see. Uh, Val Davis? She was a professor at USF. Died in a speeder wreck a couple of weeks ago. I guess you're going to tell me it wasn't an accident, right? You've got quite an imagination. Cheerio, Miss Sophie. Linsky's pass cut probably just... She, she wouldn't know. No, of course not. Uh, maybe that's a question for Sylvia. Sylvia is over here. If you found Thank you. Um, hello? Doesn't sound Fuck familiar. Me. Okay. That was a bust. Yeah, it's good for blood flow to stay up. Well, cheers. Cheers on that. Uh, maybe he would know. While I'm just playing hopscotch in his office. <laughs> I don't think you fully appreciate just how busy I am. You have exactly two minutes. Okay, I hate you. Good day. I can't give you any details regarding that. The name is unfamiliar. Well, uh, good to see you. I just love you so much. Dolores. You certainly are a persistent rogue, aren't you? What can I do for you this time? Oh, what can't you do? Well, apparently a lot. Okay, what are we missing here? Capricorn. You're back again. What can I do for you? Today? Get a chair. How many times? Never heard. Can't help you there. Okay. 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 You want to play ball? Want to play hard? Um. Actually, let's just see what the, uh... oh, maybe that's what Serio meant with, uh, with Wanda here. Maybe if she stays up, she has better butt blood flow instead of a uh, chair. Also, why can't I investigate Mr. Bosworth? I think I am missing something quite crucial. Might be at, you can, can do you nothing. Do Oh, front door. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me just see the directory on the hint system. Accessing the computer in Karolinski's warehouse. I did that! I put the pass card in and everything! What else do you want me to do? Yes, yes. Use passcard E and Karolinski's computer passcard reader. That brought up the. Am I supposed to use the computer as well? Oh, you sneaky fucker. Did you do this? No. I'll bet this computer is important, but it's got a security protect feature. Card reader's hooked up. Now I'll need to scan There the you go. Card. What else do you want me to do? Help. No? That's a bit peculiar. Is it expecting me to do something else? Okay, because I know the password, Bishop, yes. I have an address for you to check out. Route 12, Box 4, Fresno, California. Can't click on it. Whoever is running the project. Maybe you haven't asked absolutely everything to the fax machine. Yeah, but... But I, th I think I did. 
Maybe I go back and ask Sonny about... Sonny's not in his room. Probably ran out of rot. That's, uh, that's a shame. Now, oh, wait! Now we can go to the Fresno office. Okay, that was a bit peculiar, but let's... The Fresno address was in the heart of the hot zone, in what might have been a strip mall, at least before the bombs fell. It seemed pretty obvious the place was a front, a red herring meant to throw off any passing bloodhounds. But I'd made the trip, so I decided to check it out. Okay, so this is where Mr. Linsky has let us. Uh, we'll save our game here. Uh, for reasons I'm not entirely sure of, but we will do it. Fresno office. Fresnoing it up. Yes, we want to overwrite the save game because we accomplished nothing in the previous one. And I'm not sure why this works, but it does. Nothing in the boxes. Maybe this one looks interesting. Looks like but it is not. Boxes left over from the move. Oh my god, yeah, there is. Uh, can we move this thing out of the way? Yes, yes, look at that. A safe. And it appears to be connected somehow to the commemorative plate display. Yeah, uh, and this is another logic puzzle, and it has to do with uh, the times in San Francisco, Paris, and Sydney. That's that opera house in Australia. And the Eiffel Tower certainly looks impressive. That's a nice rendering of the Golden Gate Bridge. Hmm. These plates represent three different locations of the world. And it looks like there's a time indicator on each one. Hopefully there's something around here that can help me out with this. There is. Look at the mail. Electric bill. I, I actually don't know if this is the thing we're supposed to... That's the hint for it. Looks like mail still being delivered to this address. <laughs> address to occupant. Old Sparky Electric Company. <laughs> yes. Uh, November 5th, 2037. I'm actually not sure this is, uh... Yeah, oh, the, no, it's it's this calendar thing. Here we go. Well, someone left their day planner behind. I like seeing what exciting things other people get. Oh, and here is the uh, time zone chart. World time zones. And what really fucks with me is, uh, of course, time zones. I'm terrible at them. Every time we plan something with the, you know, either backseat designers or just meeting up, uh, co-commentaries and all that, I am no good at planning anything. It's a map of the world with three different time zones highlighted. Which sucks. So I'm just going to show you guys the hint for this. Uh, there are... There are three different appointments. Dinner on Monday in San Francisco at 6 p.m. Lunch on Tuesday in Paris at 2 p.m. Breakfast in Sydney on Thursday at 9 a.m. I hope this person can keep track of time zones. And what's this note about three sets of three? It must be important. Three sets of three. I have no idea what that actually means because whatever I do when I want I to solve this play. puzzle is just hit 911, off you go. So screw that, but that is the, that is the hint. You're supposed to set the uh, commemorative date plates to the correct number and sheet i love photographs well hello a photo of carl linsky is about the last thing i'd expect to find in a safe in an abandoned office in the middle of a hot zone something tells me i need to find out who the other guy in the photo is he's a slimy little cunt um i just put that out there right now um i think we're done here actually that's all you have to do in this stinky little office Though so I do quite, I mean, this is this is just to point out how far they've come with uh, in regards to, um, you know, the 3D engine, all the shadow business going on in this office uh, with the lights shining through the uh, windows and shit. This is actually really, really nice stuff. Although this is quite clearly just a room with uh, a Vista escape on the other side of it. I don't think they ever anticipated that you would actually try and look out the window like this. And that does look a little bit fake. Either that, or there's, that's just um, a doorstep and then a sheer drop into nothingness. But okay, we're cool with that, right? Oh, things are happening in the chat. Isn't old Sparky an expression for the electric chair? It might be, actually. Oh, Faridus, yes. Being 10 hours separate from GMT makes planning everything with your over 
sees friends very interesting. Yes, yes. I've, we've had a number of uh, interviews on Backseat Designers with people who reside in Australia. And either that means um, the three of us getting up very early in the morning, or it means uh, for our, uh, our Australian interview subject to, to stay up very, very late. We've had people stay up until 4 a.m. to be on the show with us. So thank you to all of them. What am I doing? Uh, uh, that's not how you travel. Um, photograph. We should show this photograph to people. First of all, I want to show it to Sylvia, because even though she... That's not Sylvia. Even though she says she doesn't know his associate, she might recognize this. Oh, and now we can ask about Bosworth Clark, too. I think there was a trigger that went haywire there. This photo wasn't taken too long ago. That's John Klaus with my father. John Klaus, you say? John Klaus was an old friend of my father's. The last time I saw him, I was quite a bit younger. He's a slimy bit. What? Show me on the doll where he touched you. Doesn't sound familiar. We must learn about this Bosworth Clark, yes. And we must also find out who John Klaus is. Uh, maybe he's related to Santa. Ah, get it? Get it? It's not funny. I know. Uh, first of all, let's ask the police. Hello. Never cool. heard of them. No. No. Okay. Fuck you. Um. Capricorn. You seem to be making good really? progress. Really? Am I? I okay. Uh, what do you know about this photo? Karolinski and John Klaus together. This is extremely interesting. Do you mind if I have this photo examined? I'd like to find out exactly when well, and Try not to fall off the table. I'll let you know if I find anything. Hey, hey give, me, give me that back! Oh, you bitch. Klaus is a scary man. He has a lot of pull in the Law and Order Party. I think he'd run for office if he could, but he doesn't have the image for it. Instead, he sits behind the curtain and pulls this. Okay, so Klaus is a Nazi and she just ran off with our photo evidence. Cool! Uh, but he used to come to the house and maybe around for Christmas or something. Sylvia remembers him fondly. <laughs> yes, yes, the creepy old Nazi uncle who does bring you treats, but he hates all the Jews. Have cool. Heard of him. Uh, let's see what Dolores has to say, because we want to find this Klaus. So what can I do for the world's sexiest people? the nose. Okay, never mind. Screw you. Screw you. Okay. What does the chat have to say? Hang on a bit. The police are being as helpful as movie police. Yes, in fact, they are. Okay, Capricorn didn't know anything. She didn't know anything. Boss with... Oh, well, we could go back to her office and just look the fucker up. Yeah, let's do that. Keep forgetting I have this thing. John Klaus and Bossworth Clark. There we go. Thank you for using. I'll have that. Okay, John Space Nazi Klaus graduated a lot of bullshit. He was a staff surgeon at North Hill Clinic. <laughs> Retired in 2036. He's a member of the Knights of Columbus, the NRA, and the Law and Order Party. He's a Grandmaster chess player. Current address unavailable. I think we're going to have to go and have a chat with Stick Up My Ass uh, Sternwood in a second. But how... Bosworth Clark uh, sold his founded a room something but I've accepted satellite technologies in AT and T started a swing band the consultants of swing. Uh, released three platinum selling albums. Really? Married, married, ranked five children. Currently on assignment. Whereabouts unknown. Okay, let's go and have a chat with Arthur. Stick up my ass. This is the last time, Murphy. You show up here again, I'll get a restraining order. Listen, I'll make it fast because the last thing I need is another restraining <laughs> order. Um, yes. 
John Klaus worked here before I became director. He was the top surgeon and left North Hill for a distinguished position at San Francisco. He should be a bit drunk. I believe he may have performed Carl Linsky's show. Wait, who? What? Oh. Oh, did he? Well, oh, the shirt, the thing in the back of his neck. Tattooed on the back of his neck. Oh, um, hmm. Yes, interesting. So Carl, oh, space Nazi man, his life. Yes. I don't well, you've that. been very non-helpful. Thank you. That still doesn't bring me any closer to finding him, but maybe Sonny knows. When I returned to Sonny's motel room, he wasn't there, but he'd left a letter for me taped to the door. Okay, can I see it? Okay, I'll go back to my office and look at it then. Hello, letter from Sonny. <gasps> Murphy, I warned you to get off the Linsky case and didn't tell you why, but you have the right to know. I can't act like this like Henry Darrow, like this dude. So uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just read it in my own stupid voice. A long time ago, believe it or not, I was like you. Young, driven, invincible, full of piss and vinegar. I got caught up in an investigation that was too big for me. It literally towered over me. It cost me the most precious thing in my life. My wife was murdered by a man who calls himself Big Jim Slade. For me, he was the angel of death. I've lived in fear and shame ever since, but have tried to find reasons to go on. <laughs> Not long ago, I was tracking down... He got drunker and drunker progressively as he wrote this. Names on the list Linsky gave me and got a lead on the whereabouts of someone named... Bosworth Clark. I ended up near an old Anasazi ruin. About okay, I'm sober again. About forty miles southwest of Tucson, something was waiting for me there. A sign from the Angel of Death. A sign that I'm sure he meant for me to find. At that moment, I knew that my judgment day was drawing near. Meeting you made me take a long, hard, stern. Erect look at myself. I've decided that it's time I faced my demon. Slade feeds on fear, but not this time. I intend to avenge what he did to me or die trying. So, the latter, really. I know my words of caution will fall on deaf ears. I still remember what it was like to be young. I only ask you to do one thing don't end up like me, Sonny Fletcher. Oh, good. There's me. Oh, bye, Summer. Sorry, you had to leave. I think we're ab about. I mean, let's let's see because the Anasazi ruins are next, and I really need to save my game here. So, so Big Jim Slape and Bosworth Clark are somewhere in. Uh, well, one of them is somewhere in the Anasazi Anasazi ruins. And this, f first of all, this brings back flashbacks to the end of the Pandora Directive. So that's. Awful and terrifying. Second of all, this this place in the game is very crash prone. I seem to recall. And I'm also thirsty. And we we build a rickety ladder for you. Have fun. The prop department was just going, <laughs> work your way out of this motherfucker. Oh, I'm so glad this isn't Dragon's Lair. Also, why didn't he just climb over the fucking wall? Okay, at least we got the fan going. And a close-up of Chris Jones' crotch. That's excellent. I love it. Okay, we are here. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a pretty big area. It's going to save again for some reason. Um, oh, six, Anasazi, Anasask, pizza place, yes. <laughs> Hello, good to meet you. Now I'm short again. That's very weird. Uh, what's down here? This well's drier than grandma's meatloaf and a little too deep for comfort. I better not jump down there. I may be here a lot longer than... Planned. Let's do that. I could just stand on top of it. Okay. There's a bucket down there with a brick in it. If I can find something to hook onto the bucket handle with, I could take a closer look at the brick. Also, twigs and shit. Not what you'd call lush vegetation. Okay. Uh, I think this is a scavenger hunt. Uh, now I'm dimly recalling that you have to find all of these bricks 
and stick them in a logic puzzle and that unlocks a door. Look at this place though. I mean, ignore the obvious fake skybox and shit. Um, this is actually, this, this looks pretty neat, I, I, th I think. Also, apparently I can go back here the way I came. How does, how does this work? What, what, what is this? That's the way back to my Okay. Ah, uh, I don't think I want to go down there. But they actually, they built this whole, ah, oh, look at the blocky pixels. That's amazing. Uh, this old place. Ah. Uh, Yes, they built this whole place out of thin air. Also eagles, eagle blood. So, lots of doors, gonna check those out later. Hey, look. It came from the sky. It came from the land. We are morphs and uh, that's a virus and it's coming to kill all of us. Inherit the earth, anyone? No? Um, 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 I say um too much when I play games, I've noticed. I really hate it. Because eventually, it's that's all you can, all you can focus on. Three interlocking cog wheels are fixed to the walls. Hmm. Mysterious indeed. And this thing. Interlocking cog Wait a wheels minute. Fixed to the wall. Well, I'm no expert on Anasazi culture, but it looks to me like I'll have to line up the red dots on the cogs to the corresponding red marks on the wall. Okay, I'll play. Oh, it's one of these puzzles, isn't it? Ah, I, I clicked on the other one. Rotten bastard. Okay, 911. Bye. Hate fucking logic puzzles. Hmm. And all that for just a like single brick fucking brick. Figure drawn on it. Yes. Pixel hunt location. Oh, vultures disguised as eagles. Yes, yes. Uh, Faraday says, please tell me they didn't do that maze again. Yeah, it's not as bad as the fucking maze at the end of Pandora Directive, which was terrible. Um, it is a pretty big location, and it does sort of open up, or kind of open down, actually, not to give too much away. Um, this is the first Tex Murphy game, I believe, where you can actually just throw yourself off things. Nope, nope, once you're up here, you stay up here. I do remember you can drop down certain points in the game. Which is also intriguing. Ooh, pottery! How <laughs> oh, I love ye pottery! Interior decorating, Anasazi style. Also, I don't know why there, there was like a rule at the end of the '90s with uh, in, you know with the first 3D games coming out and all that. The first 3D accelerated games. It all seemed to have something to do with Egyptian temples or, um, you know, an Azazi ruins or s something. Something where they could use a lot of sand color, you know? It was, it was like a weird... Hmm, this door doesn't open. I'll have to find another cool, way. Cool, I'll do that. Um, There's like a weird rule with, uh, with this. So, so this game is uh, sadly no exception. Oh, hello. Sign of civilization. What? No trespassing. Violators will be thrown to the snakes. Do you have those? Cool. I'll bet I'll get to the end of all of this shit and I'll be missing one little stupid break. Uh, what? I just picked up an entire crate of shit. Okay, wooden box. Cool. Brick number three, brick number one, brick number five. He's, he's numbered them somehow. Cool. Cool. Uh, uh. Brick number shit. I mean, um, have you ever played uh, Simon the Sorcerer 3D, which I have for a very short time. Sorry, burp there. Um, and it also starts out in a Mayan temple. Something about Mayans. I mean, at least Access Software had the good fortune to leave a book out. Hmm. An old guidebook. Maybe this will help. Uh, I mean, uh, had the good uh, the good sense to not just go uh, Mayan temple, have fun. Uh, they actually. Did some research on Anasazi culture, as they did with uh, Aztec culture and uh, the Pandora Directive. So it's not just, oh, here's a temple, it's sand-colored, go have fun. Uh, brick altar. Inside one of the chambers is a special altar. The ceremony performed required eight god bricks. Just bricks. Okay, fine. Uh, each had a different deity painted on them. Uh, that's not how you spell a deity, is it? 
Okay. According to legend, a deep secret would be revealed to anyone who could ensure that no brick was in line with another, either horizontally, vertically, or di diagonally. Seems contrived, but okay. Any excuse to throw in a logic puzzle, eh? Eh? Yeah, fuck you. This would allow each god to be the master of their own domain. Go screw yourself. Shut up! I'll, I'll get there. Oh, well, oh, brick. Bricky, bricky. Come to me, jungle friend. Ooh! Uh, uh, want to squeeze in there. Can't. A bit of weird level geometry. Am I missing something down here? Oh, wait, I have a run key as well. Which does exactly fucking squats. Ah, it just makes it hard. I can't go down here. I'll eat my shit and send me to Alaska. Because the shit was so tasty. Uh, moving up here. Maybe I have to jump that or something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The local bathhouse. And apparently a wolf. I believe there is something hideous in... Some, I have to scare something away. Uh, because this very suspicious setup here. Looks like a pile of good sized Love sticks. sticks. I'll have them. I, think, I seem, seem to remember there's something you have to scare away a snake or some shit. Uh, what, what is happening? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dan Nasty says Tomb Raider esque environments. That is exactly what I mean. It is, you know, everything had to be fucking sand colored and ancient temples and bullshit. And it, 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 it's, it is probably Lara Croft's fault. Cunt. No, sorry, sorry, Miss Croft. I know you don't call British distinguished people cunts. Also, she's had a hell of a time in recent memory. Um, what, what am I looking at? Big old fat heap of nothing. Uh, I thought this might have done something, but ceremonial chamber, one of the earliest forms of nightclubs. Yes, the but uh, with a distinct uh, plethora of, you know, knives and sacrifices and shit. There's no brick down here. Okay, fine. Screw it. Oh, hello. Whoa, that snake doesn't look very friendly, and it doesn't look like it's going to move away from that brick anytime soon. Maybe I can bait it into moving. Saving my game here. Just want to see how fucking stupid Tex is. Uh, sneaky, sneaky. I can spell. I I, I, I swear. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hello, snake. No, you can't actually walk into certain death. It's also hovering in midair. Which I find peculiar. But, you know, snakes are masters of their domain. Okay, um, I, th I think we're supposed to set the brick. Yes! I think you're supposed to set the brick on fire. No, not the brick. <laughs> you're supposed to make a fire and, and lure the little fucker away. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at all this shit because um, then, then that yellow board around it clears, which means that I know what I have picked up. It's kind of a half OCD thing. Can I climb over here? Can I walk over here? Can I do anything over here? I, hey, hey, hey. Why couldn't I go down here? There are interesting things. Places to go. I wish I had a no-clip cheat for this engine. I would love to go exploring around the levels. Could be interesting. Could be fun. I think this place is tapped, actually. Gonna run down. Oh, now he... Okay, so running doesn't actually make my momentum... Uh, any easier? Oh, look at that! That's where my speeder is. Hello. My trusty speeder. After this trip, I'm gonna treat it to a nice, thorough detailing. Uh, the run key just makes my controls uh swerve around faster. Hey, wait a minute! This looks like an object I'm supposed to pick up. A couple of long, sturdy. I poles. like poles. For dancing, mostly. Do I combine these? I, I guess I do. There's supposed to be an animation of them combining right now. It's not playing for some reason, but uh, there we go. Long and short poles. Cool. Do I put them in the wooden box? No. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Uh, I was in here. Yes. I was in here. Oh, there's a door. Hello, door. 
I usually get so lost in this. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing any better here. No look message for that thing. Just pick it up. Gives a shit. Move on. Uh, a pipe. Not supposed to combine with that. What? what, what why am I just picking up random... Close up, if you would. Okay. Intriguing shit. <laughs> like, they, they made this entire wall with this fancy texture and just went, Wait a minute, this wall's supposed to be cracked. Can you put a crack in it? And the level designer just goes, Yeah, fine, I'll just take a chunk out of it. Who gives a shit? Ooh, ooh, pulse. No. And it's nighttime all of a sudden. Is, uh, for, for a nighttime location, this one is very well lit, I must say. Okay, another floating object in midair. Hello. Nothing puts a smile on my face like a little <laughs> This is surprisingly... Um, and that's, uh, <laughs> this is surprisingly out of character for Tex Murphy, but I like it. Oh, oh, the brick puzzle can't possibly be their own spin on the Eight Queens puzzle. Uh, yes, it is. And I am prepared to solve that one in the Seventh Guest. Actually, that's one of the simpler puzzles in the Seventh Guest. Um, amazing engine graphic. Amazing engine graphic. Paul Poles on pokes. Okay. Oh, you guys are having so much fun. Love you. Looks like a brick with an. I, I know. I know. Okay, what's in the pot? Not a whole fucking lot. Pot. <laughs> Don't put the things in the. No, it just disappeared from my inventory. Okay, cool. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Um. Ah. Ah, it's a bit finicky. Control department. I'm gonna turn around and see if one of the bricks aren't around this sharp corner. Hello, bricky bricky. Bricky bricky, I say. Oh, you're not hiding in that corner. Ah, are you absolutely sure you're still sober, Tex? Because holy shit. Eh, what the shit? Well, this looks suspiciously like a primitive fishing pole. Yet another mystery of the end. Which I shall uh, use on the hole. It's actually kind of a slingshotty thing, but if we attach a net or something to it, I bet we'll find one of those things. Oh, look, a pole. And that's where the uh, bricks all go. Hello, any of you want to move around? Nice little pot. No. And this. Hmm, this door doesn't open. I'll have to find another way. Actually, that's the door that doesn't open uh, from the other side. And this is the door we want to get in. And let me guess. Uh, this would be a perfect access software dick move to just put one of the little bricks on top here. Oh. Actually, how many bricks do we need? Because we found one, two, four, six, five, one, three. And... He threw away the guidebook? No, he didn't. He didn't. It's right here. How many did you have to say? Um, required eight god bricks. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We need two more. Okay. We know one of them is in the pit out there, and the other one is with the snake. I think we're good. Now we just need to find something to light a fire with and scare Snakey Snakey off. Actually, I think I'm going to go and try and do that first. Because I, I would assume, you know, this being an access software game, that you'd have to find flint and all sorts of horse shit. Uh, but, but we can at least set the... I mean, these are poles. That doesn't seem to do anything. These are poles. What, what happened to the uh, twigs and branches and shit that I picked up? Okay. Maybe I did not pick up twigs and branches and shit. Okay. Down we go. Oh, wait. Something in here? No, this is the snake. What, what? I'm getting turned around. Turn. Uh, speaking of turning around, fucking turn around faster, dude. Can I pilfer some twigs and shit from this dry old tree? Please tell me yes, please tell me yes, please tell me that. Go screw yourself, Mr. Tree. Uh, I shall defile you later. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have to attach something to the fishing roddy thing before he'll fish this thing out. Fine on a stick's not going to be enough. 
This won't work by itself. Exactly. Uh, fuck. What do we need to attach? I don't have anything that seems kind of net-ish. Yes, as you probably noticed, the ancient people were the first to draw Burning Man on their wall. Pinkpunkadoo says, not a fan of FPS in adventure games. Now, I think FPS uh, and adventure games are sort of a missed opportunity uh, when... When 3D technology started, it was, you know, as, as most things, in its infancy. And the graphics are quite laughable. But, I mean, this was a high-quality standard uh, back in the day. And, and it does admittedly look a little hokey today. Um, so the, the level of immersion required uh, just wasn't there. But it is there now. And, and you can do quite amazing things. And as we've seen with things like Life is Strange... You can do quite amazing things. I mean, uh, FPS and adventure games are not necessarily enemies. I think Tesla Effect also showed that you can do you can do a, a, a fine uh, UI in in 3D that doesn't have to be as admittedly complicated as their first, uh, like under Killing Moon and Pandora Directive. I mean, the interface is, is a little on the complicated side. Um, sorry, that was my phone just going off. Oh. Important updates are pay Would you go away, please? I'm in the middle of something. Please don't, please don't crash. Fucking Windows update. Microsoft, you guys can all go lick a big old fat bag of dicks. Okay, there's got to be more down here than I'm something I'm missing. Oh, fire pit. Ceremonial chamber. One of the earliest forms of nightclubs known to man. Now that joke was funny the first time, but not anymore. Is there something behind this? It's a pixel hunt. Fucking knew it. You can only find a god if you fish in the well. The meaning of the brick and bucket in a well with no rope is still a mystery. <laughs> Siri is getting very poetic over in the chat here. I like it. Oh, someone sort of forgot to do something nice to this bit of texture. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything down here. Okay. Might have to reach for the hint thing pretty soon. Because I know you're supposed to light a fire under this snake's ass. I will happily do that. I have not found kindling yet. So I should at least be able to find some. And again, this this place isn't that big, but it is it was at least for me very easy to get lost in as a youngin. Uh, also because navigation this, again, this is before WASD controls. Um, the te Tesla effect is much easier to uh, to control because it does use like standard FPS controls. Uh, this one is from before that time. Okay, maybe I need to be looking up. Maybe there's something in the in the excuse me in the rafters here that I'm missing. Or not. Actually, if I were Tex, I would duck my head around here because this, this seems, this seems hard. I think having that much freedom for the sake of it becomes a distraction from the actual adventure itself. Uh, interesting point. Um, this is, I mean, it works well for Tex Murphy as a detective game. I feel. Um, because as much as I bitch about the uh, uh, pixel hunty things, I mean, that is the that is the allure of being able to explore, um, you know, a world in in all the detail in, instead of it just being, you know, uh, a fixed camera angle like in most two D adventure games. It's just a fixed camera angle, and you're you're seeing what the designer wants to wants you to see, uh, which 
uh, is all well and good. There's nothing wrong with that, but I like and and. and I like the idea of being able to explore a world completely, fully, and unhindered. <laughs> I say unhindered as I'm stuck in these fucking ruins. Um, and Under Killing Moon was very novel in that uh, in that approach because they uh, they were one of the first games to to do that. Hello, what the? Oh, it looks like I'm supposed to do something, but that's just part of the wall. Okay, I am getting very close to reaching for the hint system because. I am... I'm starting to bore myself here. That is no good. And I do feel like... Because uh, I think I remember what happens once you get through that uh, door there. Uh, interesting stuff occurs. And that's a very good place to leave the episode, as it were. So I just want to get through this Anasazi bullshit. Um... Can someone point me in the direction of the item that I need? Is it is it back here? Did I not look more thor- Get up the fucking stairs, dude. Did I not look more thoroughly? Or as thoroughly as I, as I should in here? And why can I go back in here? That's I guess that's uh, another question. That's the way back to my speeder. That's the way back to Okay, my so the speeder. entire structure is a look description that just says, This is the way back to my speeder. Stop looking in here. Sujak in the chat says, Are you doing a Game for Adventure Jam this year? Yes, I am. And I was actually planning. If there's time, uh, if I don't fuck it up completely, um, I will I, I will leave a... Um, uh, what do you call those? Beta or whatever. Like like a version of the game for, for playtesting in the backer discord around uh thursday i would imagine so you'd have time to play it <laughs> that's a day before we have to hand them in so and it's cutting it a bit close but if you wanted to you know give it a whirl it's a short game um and just you know uh spot any bugs or weirdness that i didn't find on my own or then that that would be great not making any promises because uh well holy shit what is that that's the way back to my... Yeah, that's also a bottomless pit. What the fuck is it doing down there? And what's that? It looks like there's an item down there. It's like a little item that they... Uh, I mean, maybe bits of this was... That's the way back just to Just the way back to his beater. Okay, fuck it. Reaching for the hint. Screw you. Getting the brick from the snake. Getting the bucket out of the well. Yeah, getting through the Anasazi ruin. Yeah, right. Okay, getting the bucket out of the well. Okay, we are... Okay, okay. Don't even need to go for the hint there. We are going to combine bricks and pipes and see. No, no, bent pipe. Uh, bent pipe and this pipe and this. No, no, getting close. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I would imagine we're making a fishing rod, and uh, instead of putting on a net, we're supposed to put on. I don't know. It's, it's supposed to catch on to this. I'm, I'm I'm missing something. Actually, wooden box in this. Yes. Oh. Oh, I see. This is a tr this is a, a trap thing. Oh, so I'm supposed to lure the uh, supposed to lure the snake in there. Do I lure him with bananas? No, I don't. That's interesting. How's that share supposed to like burn his ass? Actually, this does seem to have what looks like a fuse, which is also kind of interesting. The uh, the poles thing, that, that just brings me no closer to anything. Okay, reaching for the hint system again. In the break. Oh, there's something I need. Look at the snake. Out in front of the rune, get the wooden box. In the hallway, get the vine on the stick. Combine them with the wooden box and just did that. There's something in the ceremonial chamber. Fucking knew it. Something in there that I need to get, and it's it's hidden off in the side somewhere. Rotten bastards. There you go. There's something in here, and it's not the holes in the wall. I'll imagine. Uh, turning slowly. Keep looking on the ground all the time, so maybe there's something 
up here. Oh, there it fucking is. A length of rope made of woven fiber. Fucking knew it. Here you go. Thank you. Combine yucca rope with the this thing. No, combine it with the trap I made. Where's my trap? There was. There's my trap. No, the pipe. Yeah, combine it with the pipe. Somehow, what the hell does that make? Makes a rope and pipe. Okay. That's great. Do I attach the other pipes? No. Do I attach it to the vine box? No. Intriguing. Also, this does not make fire, but but okay. Uh, maybe the rope and pipe. Okay, running back. Hello, snakey, snakey. I'll, I'll be back for you, you son of a bitch. Run back to the fishing thing. Oh, look at me scoot. Whoo! Almost slammed my face in the door there, but I kept my distance. That's what a professional does. Okay, rope and pipe. Give. Okay, that fucking did it. Excellent. But that just gave me a break. He didn't even keep the bucket. Now. Must I... Must I really... Elucidate on... The importance of always keeping a bucket on your person, especially if you are an adventure game hero. I mean, really. Okay, maybe I am overcomplicating things. Maybe the snake just really is super impressed with the box that I've put together. So I'm just going to show him the box. Well, I still need something else, and I think I have just the ticket back at my office. What, the, uh... Tape measure? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll play. I'll play. There's probably a pack of matches or some shit back here. I just went all the way back here. I fill my ashtray with candy in hopes that visitors will forego the dangers of smoking in favor of good, wholesome, processed sugar. Matches. Matches, you bastards. So stuck in the sofa again. One thing's for sure. This isn't the only love seat in the office. Oh, wait. Hello. This here is my little buddy. Oh, goody. It's a toy mouse. It's the only pet I've ever had. His name is Raymond. <laughs> Ain't that Raymond Chandler? I'm, I'm, yes, we combine him. Okay. He's the only friend we ever had. And uh, we just stick him in the Boy Scout trap. Okay, returning to Anasazi Ruin. Hello, Mr. Snake. I just had a stop off, had a focaccia, and uh, picked up a, an electrical toy. I'm sure you're going to love it. You too, Mr. Eagle, whoever the eagle vulture, whatever you are. There's a coyote there somewhere, probably a squirrel. Run up the f chunk, motherfucker. Get up the fucking stairs. Thank you. Okay, saving my game again for for reasons. Snakey, snakey. Um, I spell good, so it's hard to get to the keys with my microphone in front of it. Don't judge me. I'm catching snakes. Wee. Mine now, bitch. Also, where'd the snake go? Am I carrying the snake? Oh, thank fucking Christ, I'm not carrying the snake. Okay, that's all the bricks, isn't it? Yeah, that is. All of the brickness. Get down the fucking stairs, you drunk piece of shit. Run. Run like the wind. Run like the... Wrong wind. Acquire more wind. Build more pylons. Get through the fucking door! What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah, from the... Uh, <laughs> the Eddie Murphy school of, uh, of acting uh, angry and uh, not getting your ass kicked. Just make your voice go up an octave and act all confused. The fuck are you doing, man? Uh, brick. The holes in the wall were the same size as the bricks I'd found with the Anasazi drawings on them. It seemed likely that I'd have to insert the bricks into the correct openings. Then I assumed something really cool would happen. Nothing did, eh? Well, deities on the left... Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, these are my bricks. 
And blah, 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 blah. Look at me solve this thing. Boom. Yes. Oh, what wonders await. Oh, secret passage. One of my favorite things. And moment of truth. I believe this corridor is one of the most crash prone scenes in the game. Crashy corridor. Um, I believe once we get to the end of this, th th there was something about getting to the end of this place that that was where my game fucked up the first time I played this on a different machine. Uh, when I tried, uh, well, the first time I tried to get the uh, DVD version running of this game, this was where it all went to hell. Um, so I'm kind of anxious now, not just because we found a secret passage that's cool and everything, but also because this might be the end of the series. Ooh, look. Other strips. This must have been the local jerky hut. In fact, I'm feeling quite parched now. I'm just going to have a sip of this and just have a look what the chat is saying. Rope and pipe will solve every problem you have. Yes. I believe you do have a point there. Uh, 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 just having a look around because this game likes to dick with you and leave things. Uh, oh, 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 FMV. Oh, this is not the last crusade. You're not supposed to just, you know, take a step forward and go, ha ha, I will not die now. There are more structures over there. Looks as though a natural bridge spanned this at one time, but it's long gone. I guess I need to find another way across, but how? Guess you do. There are more structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you said that. You said that. A natural bridge spanned this at one time, but it's long. These poles seem to be doing a good job. Is that a hint that I need the poles and the leather strips, and I'll make a rope ladder. Yes, I have. I am the ladder creator. Yes. Now, do I just go over here because I have made the ladder? Oh, now I can walk up here. Oh, oh, God, that is. Well, that just kicks in the vertigo, doesn't it? Yeah. Also, this is very clearly inspired by The Last Crusade, but... <laughs> or maybe I do need a highly reflective or double thick suit of morph windshield glass. Thank you, Dan Nastic. I'd nearly forgotten that. Okay, here we go. And the prop guy... That look is meant for the prop guys. It's not. That's not acting. Also, he seems like he's like four feet from away from that rock. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. They even got the wind machine going and everything. This thing looks very structurally unsound, and those don't look like pipes. They actually look a bit like, well, wood. Looks like he made this thing out of wood and not pipes. Prop guys were drunk. Oh, oh! I stuck my hand between the. Bars. Wasn't supposed to do that. I forgot how ladders work. That looks a bit longer. Still made of wood, though. Oh, boy. Oops. Well, that was lucky. I'm, I'm not sure wood bends that way, but okay. Turning to Anasazi corridors. Okay. Maybe this is the more uh, crashy door. Maybe this is where it crashes, but apparently it's worked so far. Hello, sunglasses. I'm easily distracted. These glasses don't seem to have been here very long. I wonder if they could be Bosworth Clarks. Something tells me this is a bad omen. That voice was very low in the mix. Ooh, nice sunglasses. Take a bit of tape off that they apparently didn't need. Now we have tape. And I guess I'm gonna have to open this. Now whatever's behind this panel must control the door. Well, I'm no expert, but I don't think metal doors are typical of early Native American cultures. I know the government built dozens of secret military installations around the turn of the century and then abandoned them after World War III. Maybe this is one. Could be, could be. Or this is the pocket watch that they also left after the war. 
doesn't appear to have been wound recently. Well, well, well. What is hiding in here? A spring. Okay, we've got tape and a spring and a skip and a hop. That must be another way out of here. Okay, that just leads back to... Well, that was kind of convenient, I feel. Interior deck. Oh yeah, I think we're done with that. We're also done with this rickety ladder thing. Can't even look out here. What a shame. Uh, we're supposed to unscrew this panel. Oh, hello, hello, I see you. One thin die. What I could do uh, right now is a lucky penny. A makeshift screwdriver. I see. Yes. Unscrew this. Oh, hello. Looks like someone was messing around with this. One of the wire connections is broken. I'll need to find something to repair it with. And be careful not to short the whole thing out. Well, tape ought to do it. I'll have to try something else first. Um, tape and circuit kit? Well, it's not technically a circuit, is it? Do I combine these? No. Do I put a spring in its step? I do! And then I tape it up. There we go. That opened. And the game hasn't crashed yet. So, we're going to go through this door. That'll be the final cutscene we watch. And then it's bye-bye until next Sunday. Because if it... if I mean, if it crashes now, then it crashes. If it doesn't... We keep going. So here we go. Xander Clark's lab, something covered. That would be the brown stains on the floor, wouldn't it? it? Yeah. Blood. It was all over the floor. Probably walked into the middle of. Stop touching it! Why do people always do that in movies? Just bent down and go. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's blood. All right. There is blood on the dance floor, and we are in the secret lab, and I'm saving my game because the game didn't crash. It no crashy lab. I'm gonna save this as no crashy lab. That's just a knock on wood kind of thing. There we go. Okay. Exit game. So <laughs> I can actually go handheld now. Let's bring this. Actually, the cord is not long enough. Okay. Putting that back then. Having a look at the chat. Oh, um, Raul says, I would, I miss a space quest in the first person. That could be, that, that would actually be kind of interesting. Um, no one's done that. Uh, no one's been, uh, uh, no, no one's taken up unity in the space quest community. As far as I know, I, I, I meet Chris Ushko, uh, who, who made a uh, space quest incinerations. Pretty much single-handedly, and I, which is the next Space Quest game in the series I'm going to play, actually did uh, pick up Unity, but I don't know if, if he's ever if he's done anything with it yet. Uh, Incinerations took ten years for him to make anyway, so I don't think he's in a hurry to get back to making Space Quest fan games. Uh, but yeah, a, a first-person Space Quest game would be kind of interesting. Actually, have you guys seen? Go and Google um, the Space Quest Three Garbage Freighter in 3D. Someone made a tech demo of the 3D freighter uh, from Space Quest 3. Uh, and the only, the comments that he gets is like, okay, when are you gonna finish the rest of the game? And he's not, I even asked the same question and he said, no, I'm, I'm not gonna finish it. It was just for fun, it's just a tech demo. Uh, but it, it does look rather amazing, if I do say so. Um, <laughs> we will, crash this lab next time yes yes oh my god i hope i hope the crash doesn't happen after i finish the lab level because that would suck I, I i remember there are two places in the game that are notoriously crash prone there's this and then there is something way at the end of the game uh and i'll point it out when we get to it there's a location way at the end of the game that is notoriously crash prone as well and you know it's probably it'll probably just be my luck that uh, the game, the game will crash at some point, but it will be at none of those, none of those two places. It'll just be like in the middle. It's just me walking around Texas office, and all of a sudden, and the game just flat out deletes itself. Something like that. Murphy's Law, you know. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, do. 
drop by again on Tuesday at 11 p.m. Danish time. I have since learned that Danish time is not CET. It is CEST. I don't know what the S stands for, but CET is Central European time. And CEST is Central European Scandinavian time, I guess. The thing is, for the longest time I've said, oh, just drop by at, uh, you know, today, Sunday, 2 p.m. CET. That's not how it works, because right now, thanks to some daylight savings fuckery or whatever, CET is actually an hour behind me. So uh, it's four o'clock now. It's actually three o'clock CET. Or it might actually not even be, because maybe the daylight savings have uh, lined up again or something. But anyway, long story short, my time zone is called CEST. So now I can say next Tuesday at 11 p.m. CEST. Please join me and play the seventh guest with me and my lucky strategy guidebook. I, I have that on, um, you know, as a backup in case, <laughs> in case no one shows up, um, which is a real concern, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's going to happen. If you want to play with me on Tuesday, and I do mean the seventh guest, but... Stick around. Um, no, uh, if you want to play the seventh guest with me, hop on to patreon.com slash spacequesthistorian. Not patreon.com slash backseat designers, which I accidentally said in the previous uh, Tex Murphy episode. Um, that was that was brilliant, wasn't it? Actually, it might have been the previous contradiction episode. Yes. Previous contradiction. I accidentally said um, uh, patreon.com slash backseat designers. And that's because uh, earlier... Um, we, we had been recording an episode for Backseat Designers. Backseat Designers have their own uh, Patreon, so got a bit confused. If you want to get in and play the Sound of the Guest with me, uh, the Patreon you'll need to visit is the Space Quest Historian one. Uh, Patreon.com slash Space Quest Historian. Buck a month, uh, that'll get you into the secret uh, channels on the SQH Discord, which is... Oh, Central European Summertime, Ferdas says, is what CEST stands for. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. All right, that's it. Uh, if you want to get in and play, you'll need to download the Parsec Gaming Client, which is over on ParsecGaming.com, because that's the thing that I will be using to uh, show you guys uh, who are playing the game with me. Um, you, you'll, you'll be connecting to that thing, because then you don't have to deal with the Twitch lag and all of that crap. So... You know what? I actually fished out the old uh, Tex Murphy Overseer box that I have, which is absolutely bunged to shit. Uh, it's kind of broken and everything, but it still has, uh, you know, the original manual and shit. Um, and I just sort of completely forgot to show this to you. So I think I might do that uh, the next episode. Um, another thing that I have in my possession somewhere, not entirely sure where, is the official Tex Murphy Overseer soundtrack, which came on a CD. And I remember the way I got it was, um, I think I just emailed Access Software, and this was around the time that they were shutting down. Um, we, we, we hadn't been told that they were shutting down or being sold to Microsoft and then shutting down. Um, so th it was still Access Software. And I, I think I wrote them, hey, uh, I heard that there's a Tex Murphy Overseer soundtrack. I, I don't know where I'd seen it, but... Uh, I. I know I knew it was there, and they said, "Sure, we'll send you one." I don't I don't recall asking for it, but they just sent me one and free of charge as well, which was interesting. And and it arrived in the mail, so I do have it. I have it somewhere: original disc, original package, uh, or it just came as a jewel case, really. But I have that thing as well. So uh, start of next uh, uh, start of next overseer episode. I'll give you a quick tour around. You know the box and uh, and the story about how I uh, came upon the box, which is which is slightly interesting, not very interesting, but slightly interesting in its own right. And uh, show you the soundtrack CD as well, if I can fish that out from wherever the fuck it is, buried buried amongst its descendants. Sorry, Wolfgang, you're not on this show today. So anyway, that was kind of it. So thank you so much for watching and. Now the stop streaming button is way over here, so nonchalantly, I shall just scooch over, move the mouse up to the stop streaming button, hover my finger over the mouse button, and then smile politely at the camera. But hover, hover, goddammit, I lost it. Smile politely at the camera and say, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you Tuesday or next Sunday. Uh, Sunday 2 p.m. is when we'll uh, play more Tex Murphy Overseer. Now that apparently it doesn't crash. But until then, 
I'll see you around the Chrono stream. Then I'll wave at the camera, and then I'll click stop streaming. See ya.